Hello, everyone, and welcome to Throwbacks Thursdays with Chelsea. Okay. Danielle is usually on air today, but she isn't feeling too great, so we wish you the best. So today we have our special guest, Chris. Say hey. Hey, I'm uh, Assistant Station Manager to UICR, Chris Candy, and I'm filling in today. So in. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The very last minute, but you know what? Today's going to be a great little show. I, yeah, have show. I have a show before, so it's really no big deal for me. No big deal. All right, awesome. So we're going to kick things off. Our show is called Throwback Thursdays. We'll be talking about the latest and greatest in entertainment and news. So we're going to talk about first, we're going to get a little serious up in here. Mm. A little serious. We're going to talk about the latest news in the Ebola cases. Um, is, it so, is there still like two cases in New Jersey or has that increased? There's I, two I mean, cases I, in New Jersey? No, sorry, sorry, United States. Sorry. There's no. two cases. There, there was one case in the United States. Uh-huh. And we just got the first confirmed death from the um, one guy who transferred o- it over yeah. from Dallas. Yeah. And his name, I'm looking look at the BuzzFeed right now. And his name was, his name was, um, Mr. Thomas Duncan. And he uh, has now passed away mm. yesterday, I believe. It's sad. And that is actually kind of scary. I don't know about you, Chris. Um, for scary. me, if until I hear it's in New York or New Jersey, I'm really not worried. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying this happened, like, we had an outbreak in Africa, what, like, 95? We did? Yeah. In the first one? Yeah, in the first one year of high school, I watched the film on it. Oh, snap. So, uh, that was right down. Oh, my God. I don't even know how many years ago that was. That was probably back in 2000. That was the 10th anniversary. It was like 2005. When I was Two, in, yeah, 2005. No, I'm, no, 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 because I'm... I'm like 24 years old, so, <laughs> so I'm going back to some time. Wait, throwback Thursday, I'll put in here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we went back to the early 2000s when I was um, 15. Um, but uh, really, um, yeah, I would think 95, 97, it was in the mid-90s where they actually had pretty, um, as you told me, we're talking about later just in this, in this um, show we're talking about the 90s, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really, it's really awesome that we bring this up that it didn't happen before, yes. It was now pretty ninety five. Um, right before the year, I was one years old for that. I was a year old for that. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if it was ninety five, ninety seven, around that era. So whatever it was, you were little and I don't remember. I don't remember it either. <laughs> I mean, they didn't, they didn't tell us anything at that time. It's <laughs> no, like, like we were like in the early ages of our lives. Like, what are we supposed to say, Google Gaga? Like Ebola's here. <laughs> Yeah, I was five, seven years old. I could, I could talk actually. So, <laughs> so leave it, so leave it that I was in <laughs> school doing stuff, and that's basically it, right? So leave it at that. Um, I'm 24 years old. I'm almost 24 years old, so I've been alive for a long, for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and you witnessed the first Ebola outbreak in the United well, States. Well, uh, I don't know if it was. In, I don't think it reached here at that time. Oh, thank God. I think it was only in Africa. It reached like five different countries, like. Oh. From like South Africa through like Zaire or something like that, oh my God. and there was like professors from like France and everybody, and and, and, and they would have to rub, shake hands by using their elbows. Uh, oh they, my God. they actually rubbed elbows instead of shaking hands because the elbow is the only place in your body that you can't get sick on. Oh my goodness. The elbow doesn't you can't get sick. You can't like if you shake someone's elbow. Yeah. And you feel like hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, going right yeah, now. We're elbow shaking right now. You don't, you don't, you don't, um, they don't transmit germs that way, so it's pretty much. So, so that's what they did. They need to do that now. Uh, um, they, um, they kind of didn't really... They didn't, no, they didn't, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be as bad as it will. I hopefully, hopefully they can find... Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, right. Fingers crossed. Hopefully they... C- knock wood. Yeah. Knock wood. Do, is there wood in the WICR station? Yes, there is. Yeah. I don't know if this is wood or if it's one of those <laughs> fake woods. <laughs> So you want the closest thing, so knock wood, this does not come here. Well, hopefully it's in the transit area, but it is in the United States. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Don't take any planes, uh, or don't have a lot of planes right now. I know, because it's prob- this this germs everywhere, and it's probably thriving, up, it, especially when you're up in the air. Well, I'm, I, I went to California um, mm-hmm. recently. Ooh, I'm jealous. My aunt, I'm jealous. My, aunt is, um, my aunt is currently a resident of West Hollywood. <gasps> Oh, 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 snap. Let me take a minute. Uh, what does she do in West Hollywood? She works for, uh, she has, she's looking for an acting job. Oh, my God. I'm so jealous. She's, um, her. well, she's, um, she once actually had, she actually once recorded a music CD of her singing. 
she um had a guest star a spot on um Ezra Returns when she was a teenager. But it's like from it's from the eighties. She, oh, she was there from the eighties. <laughs> oh, she did that. Um, and my aunt, if you, she's um she's near like she's in her early like forties, mm-hmm. but she looks like she's like seventeen. Aww. So she could so she could pass off for any age like under forty. Under forty, she's like. <laughs> With some people get older and they look, their everything starts uh, to like gravity falls. But I guess no, not she for was, her. She different. <laughs> she was different. Um, different. Um, like wigs, and she can. She she is known as like I can call her a master of disguise. <laughs> I mean, she just recently did um uh uh, uh she was in a, a play recently, a skit play where she did multiple different skits. <gasps> And she was in one about this these two girls who are um, in their dorm, oh, and this good. one college. <laughs> and this one girl's boyfriend is putting on like this Facebook site of him with his girl, of him with his new girlfriend, and she's like getting all angry. <laughs> and, no, in all honesty, if I saw one of my roommates with my boyfriend or ex boyfriend, holy moly, mother, holy moly, yes, I would, I would have flipped. I would have went Brooklyn on that. You're saying I'm over my aunt right now, actually. Oh, good, good. Well, if I could be famous, I can be disguised, I can never age, then I will be your aunt, Chris. My aunt, my aunt really has a, 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 a very, like, you know, New Jersey, New, New York. New Jersey? I, I, oh, no. What? Oh, no. I'm not New Jersey. I know that. Oh, no, no. That's, a, that's not even an insult, but, like... <laughs> It's a Brooklyn thing. <laughs> hey, come on. She's she's from Northern Jersey, Hoboken. Where from Hoboken, baby? Isn't that from like that show, um, Cake Boss? Hoboken. He is my Hoboken. he is my like he is the husband of my third cousin. <gasps> so you're related to Buddy Valestro? Yeah. Very if you guys don't know who Buddy Valestro is, then you've probably been living <laughs> under a rock for the past very ten distantly, years. Very distantly, very distantly, but I am. You what? Chris is related to Buddy Velastro, the cake boss from TLC's show, Cake Boss. There's <gasps> pictures of my grandmother with his father. <gasps> Have you ever had any pastries from there? No, but, <gasps> but I, I, I actually mean once or twice. But you have to understand, there's been like three generations of my family mm-hmm. knowing his family. So <gasps> it's been, it's been, you have to understand. He needs to come to Iona. Chris, you need to hook this up because mm-hmm. I'm com- kind of craving some cake boss type things kids body for last year you have to understand that what it is here is like it's my grandfather's cousin's granddaughter is his, is his wife that sounds complicated oh uh, it's complicated <laughs> that sounds really complicated <laughs> but it's just it's just it's just you know just sort of like see I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the New York and Brooklyn thing is you're against everybody from New Jersey. I don't know Actually, what. I do like New Jersey people. I know quite a few people from New Jersey, and they're lovely. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I'm from, I'm from the northern part of New Jersey. What part? I'm from the Union County, Springfield area, which is which is near Elizabeth and Newark. And yes, that. So I was I, actually there recently. So I kind of, um, I kind of have slightly like the people from New York. You don't act like the Brooklyn Knights. No, I do not. I'm talking about women in Manhattan <laughs> or women in Manhattan and maybe like, you know, Manhattan. It's like a different breed. And when, when you think about it, like you think of New Jersey because we are the tri-state. Yeah. But if you look at someone from Brooklyn, you look at some, from someone from the city and someone from New Jersey, it's a, complete, it's a night and day difference. You know, my sister, my sister has completely merged into a New York. Yeah. She's from, she moves to the city? She went to Columbia. Oh, that's in the city. And she's like, she completely has emerged into that. The world. culture. It's such a big culture, and especially now that I live in Rock, I live in Queens, like the ultimate beach <laughs> now. It's like, you can see the differences between like all the, like, the And you also see the difference between somebody from Rock and somebody from Staten Island. That's oh. that, 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 that completely different. Uh, <laughs> that, I love, <laughs> no, no hate to Staten Island people, because my, one of my dearest roommates who's, Probably around here right now is from Staten Island. I love it to death, but there's like it's just I don't know. It's completely different. Everyone just hates on everyone. No, I don't know why. Why? Why? No, everyone's just a hater. Well, in this, well, <laughs> uh, let's get back. We back to our. We should probably get back to <laughs> way, 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 way off topic. Let's go back to our. Yeah, yeah. So, you so should, we just love the the, the boroughs. Yeah, we love Chris's aunt from West from California, but he was in the air traveling to California, and that's how we're gonna. Get back to e- the Ebola situation. Exactly. Because <laughs> Ebola thrives in Germany. Didn't this guy fly from like 
Africa to see his like, family and he's yeah, back here. Yeah, it's his first time back in a long time. He went to Liberia. And he went to Liberia and came back. We know exactly where that is in Africa. Or not That's really. in the um, western. It's a western. It's northwest. Oh okay, right, right. So yeah. it's so they basically it's on the coast of West Africa because I was actually I learned a lot of stuff by history classes here at Iona College. So pay attention. Who was the teacher? Um, couldn't remember his name, but Dr. he was really Venusian? good. Um, Mirzwa. No. Mirzwa. Because if you had Dr. Venusian, I thought you were uh, the peasants from him. <laughs> 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 my new word, it's such a mean word, but my word is of the week is peasants. I don't know why, it's just inhabited. <laughs> no, that would be used that all the time. Come <laughs> like on. The serfs and the peasants. No, he always uses that. That would be says that everybody uses like non sea salt as a peasant. I'm telling you. I'm like, I probably learned that from my one of my dear friends here, Dom D. Benedictus, because. Maybe he knows Dr. B. <laughs> I I'm, wouldn't be surprised because he's a little popular little kid. But he came to. Um, Thomas Duncan came from Liberia, and he didn't feel the effects of the first few days, and then, holy snap, like, whoa, I have Ebola now. I have a disease that's eating my insides alive. That's what it does. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I was looking it up, and I was like, what is Ebola? Who has, like, bro- get it. Who has, like, broken my eyes? It's gross. It's, like, a, it's a, according to, um... BuzzFeed, I believe, it is a rare but deadly virus that causes bleeding inside and outside the body. Mm. As the virus spreads through the body, it damages the immune system and the organs, basically eating your organs alive. Uh, and yeah. ultimately, it causes levels of blood clotting s- cells to drop. This leads to severe and uncontrollable bleeding. Oh. And it causes fever, and it kills up to 90% of the people who are infected. Yeah. And th- Thomas Duncan was on uh, quite a few meds, according to my BuzzFeed article that's in front of me. And, wait, but wait, 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 he was on, it's somewhere in here, he, he was on, let's see, BuzzFeed, that's finest, that's the most reli- reliable source. Oh, here, yeah. um, he was on an experimental an- antiviral drug called Brink. Uh, I'm really bad with pronunciations. Just smell it. Just smell it. Just smell it. B R I N C I D O F O V I R. Brinksidofor. I don't know. <laughs> but it's produced by the biopharmacy company called Chimerex. So uh, clearly, Chimerex are failing at life because your antibiotics didn't work. So well, you have to understand this. So sad. This disease is, is 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 horrible. How old is he? He was pretty. He was. I have no idea what. He had, but he looks young. I believe. I believe. Oh, he was forty-two. Oh, that's young. So he was still young. Yeah. And I'm really looking at a picture of him. He looks fairly healthy. He does. He does. And you know what? That's so sad. So you know what? We're gonna end this little segment off. Yeah. By sending our best to the Duncan family, and especially to the Dallas area, because yeah. that's the first hometown. That was the first U.S. Um, case. Yeah. So I think we should, we should close it's, that segment. Besides off. the doctors who have and been in Atlanta. Kudos. Kudos to them, too, because they're fighting so hard for. Aren't they? No, no, no. The no, no, doctor who was down there went to Atlanta who had it. There's another guy who has it? Yeah, they're, they're doctors from. Or, like, one's a kid. One was a cameraman who's covering it, and one was a doctor. Down there. Oh my goodness! Because I read like the police. So one of the police then was r- rushed to the hospital when they were at his um apartment. So oh my goodness! You know what? Let's just pray and say a little prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yes. Let's hope this um the people of Chim the Simonex Chimonex oh yeah, uh, the the pharmacy the bio pharm- pharmacy thing. whatever. Hopefully we'll find a cure because yeah. this I can't I hate I'm a very emotional person so I hate when people die. Yeah. So let's talk about our next topic. Which We're gonna talk about ISIS. That ISIS. ruins my that ruins my big that ruins my big girl's name. So I, ISIS. I ever, yeah, that ruins my I love that name. And, uh, that now can't. the Islamic State has ruined the title of ISIS forever. Yeah, I don't have my baby anymore. Now I don't, I don't <laughs> name my baby anymore. Don't name your babies that because your baby will be known as the one that was named after people who behead someone. Yes, yeah, I, I, I don't think I have a new name now. And this is a new, this is, oh. we were, me and Danielle, were, Danielle and I were talking about this last week, baby names, but we'll get to that. You know what, we'll talk about that a little bit. We should. Because I, I love baby names. I need a new one now. I Oh my god, I love them. We'll talk about that a little later. Yeah. So, ISIS is gaining strength in Syria. Um, the Islamic State fighters have renewed their advance in the Syrian border town of Kobane. Were well, they originally, originally from uh, Iraq? Or? They're from Syria. I was reading this because it's my Islam class. It, they're from Syria because Syria had like an internal wars. Oh. And basically ISIS just exploded out of 
just turmoil inside of Syria. And mm. they were just, they're f- a religious group, but they're just, my, even my professor says, Dr. Yu, I can't say her last name for dear life of me. So Dr. Yu was just like, basically, they're they're not, they don't reflect any Islamic ideals wow. and, th- and um, wow. beliefs. And it's just such a shame because... Everyone's trying to get involved because they beheaded the Americans, they beheaded the British. We're doing the airstrikes. I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm sick of it. You know what, Chris? I'm sick of hearing about this. Me too. I, I really would like to, uh, really like, I, I mean, we had a war, and I had another war. Mm-hmm. They both ended, and now we're in a third war. Sorry. You guys understand? We have all these problems. Like, why can't we just do a Roger Wilson's? Let these countries <laughs> handle themselves. Yep. You know, Woodrow Wilson said, we, Amer- we as America will stay out of these wars and yep. not involve ourselves in another conflict. But actually, his words were European conflict. And this is not European. This is this is the Middle Eastern conflict. <laughs> so, I well, I don't know. Like, you don't understand. We had older presidents who had better ideas. Like, I said this to everybody. We as America feel we should police the world. Why? Why is this Americans? Americans. We're, we're like, we step in and we're like, oh, we're the big bad wolves and we're going to stop world <laughs> war and we can't do that. We can't, we can't let our people die if it's not our problem. It's not our problem and that's what's sickening. <sighs> I, I don't they know. Had never, they never said anything. They didn't say we're going to attack you or, or anything like that. I don't, they they had, just launched the airstrikes. I'm just like... Have they said anything against us? Have they tried to attack us yet? No. No, okay. Then what? Because they just did the beheading of the Americans. That's what we're doing. And um, also... Sickening. We got to we got, we got, we got, we got, we got start talking about happy stuff after this. Oh, we have to talk about I, a lot. I mean, this serious stuff is, is, is really too awful. This is exhausting. So I don't even do, I don't even, this is why I don't do news. This is why I stay away from it. I think problem. I'm going to stay away. I think I've learned my lesson. I think I'm I think you should, I think you should call your show me entertainment news of fun. <laughs> the fun. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to take a break. And the next segment, we're going to talk about some red hot news. Awesome. So take it away from me, Chris. All right. What do you want to do? Well, go to commercial break. All right. Let's get it. Six New York Giants, Season of Champions, was written and produced by Joe D'Aloisio. The executive producer is Mike Demurgis. Thanks for listening to WICR. Rolling with the Stones on WICR. Stop by in the summer. Do you remember? 